In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for PbNO3 2, lead to nitrate. Lead is a metal, and then this NO3 group, we have two nonmetals, the nitrogen and oxygen. And those are bonded together in what's called a polyatomic ion. It's called the nitrate ion. And we have two of these nitrate ions. Since we have a metal and nonmetals, we have an ionic compound. In an ionic compound, the metal will transfer its valence electrons to the nonmetals. So we'll write Pb and then we'll put NO3 on each side. So we can see in the name here for lead 2 nitrate this 2. That means the Pb has a 2 plus charge. Put a 2 plus up here, and we could look the nitrate up on a table of common polyatomic ions. Nitrate has a minus charge, and we can also tell that because if this is plus 2, each one of these will need to be minus to balance the charge out and make the net charge 0. So what's happening is the metal, lead, has given one of its valence electrons here to the nitrate on this side, and the other one over here. Since electrons are negative, when this gets that electron, it becomes negative. The lead lost electrons, two of them, and now it has a 2 plus charge. Let's change the NO3 here, the NO3 minus, to a Lewis structure for the nitrate ion. Next, let's put brackets around this NO3 minus. You'll often see brackets around the cation, the metal cation, as well. So we can see the lead lost an electron to each of the NO3s, and in doing so we have negative charges and these two positives. Those are attracted, and that's what forms our ionic bond here. Do note that this is what's called a formula unit. With lead 2 nitrate, it's normally a crystal, and in that crystal we have many of these formula units repeating. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for lead 2 nitrate, and thanks for watching.